And welcome back to another episode of Nice Shards. We're just jumping right in today. Uh, let's throw on a rappel real quick. Make our way through this grass. Uh, I believe rappel's in this bag. Been a while since we used one. Uh, also, apologies, this episode's gonna be coming out pretty late, but hopefully you'll forgive me. I've uh, been a little bit busy lately and uh, didn't have time to get one prepped ahead of time. All right, we are on our way to Victory Road. Uh, I think that'll be a pretty, pretty tricky time for us. Throw on that dowsing machine. There should be some hidden items around here. Or some Thunguses, rather. I did know it was a, a Thungus, or likely it was, before I clicked it, but there's... Sorry, an Amoongus, my bad. That cry sounds exactly the same. My crazy or was that the exact same cry? Level 40 is pretty solid, though. Um, let's hit it with a fly. It could have effect spores, so I don't want to sit here and hit it too much. Um, could also have regenerated, it's probably the better ability for it, but I'm pretty sure it does get effect spores. So I'd like to take it out in one hit, if we could, so we don't get poisoned or paralyzed or anything silly like that. All right, our squads looking pretty solid. Uh, our battle with Iris ended up being easier than I expected. All right, another Amoongus. That's fine. It's, you know, easy experience, I suppose, for uh, Ricardo. Could be worse. <sighs> There's got to be this one real item, though. I refuse to believe that these are all fake. Pokemon Company wouldn't do me like that, would they? Would they? Hopefully not. Hopefully they wouldn't. All right. No big deal here. Easy enough. I'm looking forward to the Elite Four. Uh, there's the effects for. That's what I was trying to avoid. That's what I was trying to do in one shot. So I wasn't crazy. I was right to play around it. Uh, we'll heal off that paralysis here real quick. <sighs> unfortunate. Unfortunate. Just had to happen, huh? That's all right. Not a huge deal in the end. Uh, I believe they're right at the bottom. Very nice. We might have a berry that could do that too, but nah. Who cares? Not a big deal at this point. Uh... We, we could battle that guy? That one's gotta be an Amoongus. It's like way off center. What's going on with the... That's weird. Alright, well, pardon that graphical bug. Hopefully it uh, does not persist. It seems like it's part of that cliff is uh, clipping up. Thought he was stationary. Uh, Should have realized he wasn't. I think we saw him facing left at first, and then I glanced away, and he was looking to the right, and uh, assumed that he might be just enjoying that view off the bridge, but apparently I was wrong. That's fine. Apparently we're just going to run into things that are very easy for Honshko to take out, which is great for, great for me personally. Uh, I will not complain. Let's see if we can take this guy out in one wing attack. Alright, he's faster than us, which makes sense. He's going to miss a slam though, that's alright. Alrighty there, we can. Uh, Honshko hits pretty hard. Our defense uh, leaves a little bit to be desired, but we're also not switching here because this is another thing that Ricardo can 100% take out here. Uh, I suppose it could be faster and could destiny bond us. I don't think there's anything we can do about that. All right, cool. He can go for it. But at that point, I mean, we can try to not knock him out in one hit, but that's going to be kind of difficult. I can go for a fly to hopefully dodge it, but it can just go for Destiny Bomb the next turn. So, just, you know, sometimes you just got to roll the dice and hope that uh, you don't get unlucky. I, I almost said lucky, but no, you want to get lucky. All right, we don't want to battle that guy. I don't think it's... Well... Didn't we just... Didn't we already get Rock Climb? Did we just get that from... Isn't that what we got from Iris? Fusion Flare? I forgot we got Fusion Flare. Did somebody learn this? No, that's not surprising. Didn't we just... I swear we just got that. No, we got Skull Bash. That's right, that's right, okay. Uh, now those are the ones we really have much interest in. I don't know why I thought we got Rock Climb. Did we get hit by Rock Climb recently? I think we did. Maybe that's it. Um, we will actually battle this guy. Uh, you know, it's been hard to get our Pokemon leveled up. Uh, well, I suppose you haven't seen that too much. You know, it looks like it's been okay, but grinding takes forever, basically. Uh, you don't even want to battle. Well, I'm glad uh, I talked to him. Dusk Stone, okay. I assume that's what you gave me. Yeah, that's what you usually give. Right. Makes sense. Um, all right, we got to go back past the graphical bug. There's no way it's not a... Right, I have to prove it. It's not! Oh my god! I was so not gonna click on it. I was so confident. I had 100% confidence that was a, a fake fake Pokeball. It looked like it was like off kilter a little bit. I don't know what's going on with that weird purple line. It's kind of strange. We haven't really encountered much uh, graphical issues in the emulator here, but eh, not a huge deal. Could be worse. Could be somewhere we were a lot often. Could happen more frequently. So, uh, Once again, it's just the story of... Oh, that's right. We didn't put out Honchkrow. That's alright. Uh, we'll still be fine here, I think. Uh, but, you know, it's just been nothing but things that Ricardo can easily, easily deal with. 
No! Come on! All we needed was to land two! Well, you gotta curse body me on the first one! Uh, I mean... We'll Ice Beam it. It'll probably take like three of these to knock it out, but it'll knock it out. Yeah, Rain Nest is fine too. Uh, could make a Brian hurt pretty badly here, but as long as we're not below half, I think it's fine. Oh, come on. You still have to curse body me once. All right, there we go. We're fine here. Uh, this is going to be a little dicey. Or it's going to look a little dicey. And we will die if it kills us. Or if it if we don't kill it. But we're going to knock it out first guaranteed, so I'm not worried. I was a tiny bit worried. Just a tiny bit worried, if I'm being entirely honest with you guys right now. Tiniest bit of worry was creeping in there. I was like, what if it was a speed tie? And we just won it twice in a row, or three times in a row, and I, now we're going to get bodied by it. Uh, you know, there's always that chance. And, you know, if that chance happens, you know... What can you do about it? You can't uh, sit there and worry about that kind of thing uh, the whole time. You'll never make any progress. All right. So we'll just try and keep, you know, whoever's lowest level out front. Uh, it is a little bit difficult to keep an entire squad of six that are fully evolved uh, up without, you know, sacrificing some uh, experience on other Pokemon. Okay, she is going to turn out. We're going to battle her anyway, but I, I wanted to battle her on my terms, I suppose. All right. Ace Trainers, they're spooky for sure. She's probably at level 45s. Gardevoir, okay. Once again, something Honshko can definitely take out. Uh, lots of Psychic types and Ghost types today, I guess. There's, maybe this is the first Psychic, but lots of Ghosts. Okay, come on, it's fine. Um, it does make me scared of like a Focus Blast, but I don't think you get that by level up, so we should be fine here. I'm a little surprised it's faster than us, just because uh, this is going to hurt. I think we'll live it. Okay, we did. We wouldn't have lived a crit. Um, but the Gardevoir's defensive uh, stats aren't... Well, its special defense is solid. It's uh, regular defense. Not that great. Um, so I'm actually surprised to live that. That was a lot of experience, though. Wow. Three grand. All right. Maluetta, Um, I assume it's going to start as the normal version. Um, I think, regardless, auto is a pretty good fit here. Well, okay, that's not true. Because it's part normal and normal psychic so right i think so this isn't great i was mainly thinking it will resist it and uh, be immune to both of its modes but he heavy slam will probably do a good bit not expecting no acrobatics it's kind of weird but this should be all right uh, i think this will do over half sweet all right cool so you know we can't hit it as much as i would like to uh for as much damage as i would like to that was a lot that was great makes sense but uh, at least I'll take care of this thing. Should be a good experience too. It is a mythical Pokemon. With quite a operatic cry. All right. So yeah, I think that it, we just need to battle the trainers more. I had gotten lazy and started skipping trainers and I think that that's gonna bite us in the butt by the time we get to the Elite Four. Cause uh, if we skip the trainers now, when we come back and we're higher leveled, or if we come back and we're higher leveled, we'll get less experience because our Pokemon will be a uh, greater difference uh, in levels than they are already. Uh, so that's not going to favor us, and it'll make it so we don't get as much out of them. Okay. Yep, just jump jump right in, sir. Jump right in. Uh, you know, why not? Everyone's here to battle. Um, so we'll do it along the way, uh, making it so that we can get a bit of a slower ramp up, and hopefully not have to grind too much by the time we get ourselves to the Elite Four. We will need to have a squad of at least all 50s by the time we get to the Elite Four. I'm not sure exactly what level they are in there. I know it's got to be at least low 50s, though. Um, so we probably should be a little bit higher than 50, but we'll see where we, uh, stack up at the end of Victory Road and, uh, make a decision from there. We've already got one level 50 on our squad in the form of Manus, so should be all right. Metal. Um, I mean, really anything can deal with this Meryl? We'll just have to crunch it probably twice. I didn't mean to use Ice Beam. I was just mashing buttons. That's my bad. That was pretty good damage, actually. Alright, are you faster than me now, Meryl? Can you get Swift Swim? I don't actually know. I don't, in fact, know. Give him a, give him a little crunch. Wow, that did less than our Ice Beam? Or very close to our Ice Beam. Alright, Meryl, respect. That's a, that's a decent amount of damage there. Alright. Always oh, feels a bit weird having Axel up front, given that he only does have two different types of moves and uh, is weak to a lot of different things and has basically no resistances, which isn't great. But Axel's doing pretty fine work for us. I'm not going to worry about it too much. This should probably knock out the Mothum. Sweet. I mean, when we hit hard, we hit like a truck. So maybe, you know, 
Axel, I think, does a better job being in the back lines. Um, ooh, I'm gonna run and shut my window real quick. It's you guys might be hearing cars going by. Uh, and we're back. Forgot about that. I uh, forgot I had it open, and people drive by here with like insanely loud cars. Like they've got it so that it's clearly as loud as it can possibly be. We can go and get our other fossil revived. Oh, okay. We're gonna go do that. We're gonna go do that. I had completely forgotten. We have two fossils actually to choose from now, unfortunately. Um, but we'll go ahead and do it. You know, it's uh, something that's fun and you know, you never know what you're gonna get. What could we get that we're actually gonna want to keep on our squad right now? Just given how it's gonna be a level 25. I don't know. It'd have to be something real, real spicy to get. But hey, we got our 8th gym badge. We can revive one more fossil and only one more fossil. Uh, so we're going to. We're gonna throw something in the PC so we can take it. So at the very least, we're gonna at least take the Pokemon and put it in the box. Um, but yeah, you know, you never know what we could find. Oh man, I forgot we found an Azuril recently. That's so bad. Uh, well, we're not gonna, we know we're gonna keep, uh, Honchkrow, because, uh, they're our ticket back home. Uh, we're actually gonna deposit you as well. Uh, we're probably gonna revive both fossils here. We're gonna only take whatever the first one we get is, but my curiosity is gonna get the better of me, and we're gonna wanna at least find out what the second one would have been. Uh, but we won't actually use the second one no matter what it is. Because that's, you know, playing by our, by our own rules. But I want to know what could have been. So I can be upset uh, when we pick the wrong one. So let's see, we've got a couple options. Okay. So we've already done the Root Fossil. I don't believe we've done the Helix Fossil. And I think the Armor, armor Fossil is also new. But let's just make sure. Um, root Fossil. Plume Fossil. Cover fossil. So okay, we don't. We've already done the cover fossil. That's all we got. Old amber. Okay. Um. So yeah. Uh, do we do the armor fossil or do we do the heal? It's got to be the helix fossil, right? All right. We got to figure out. You know, praise Lord Helix. Got to see what what he is. What are you? What is it? A floatzel. Ah, oh, that's not very exciting. It's fine. I mean, we've been in need of you know a water type for a while now. It could be worse. I uh, will nickname him because he could be. Sorry, she could be used. And her name is going to be... Nah, I don't, I'm not liking the Y. She's going to be... Nance. Like Nancy, but, you know, nicknamed. We also have Mance. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Whoops, I forgot we had Mance. Maybe I should have named it Nance. Now we have Mance and Mance. That's okay. Nance probably isn't going to see too much play. Uh... <laughs> Alright, what could we, we, did I pick wrong? Excadrill! Oh, that would have been so good! We don't need the steel type. We'd have too, too many steel types. We already have too many steel types on our squad. We will not be nicknaming you because we are not allowed to use you. But I think it'd be better than Flotzel. At least it's more exciting than Flotzel. Floatzel? Probably Floatzel. But well, it could be Flotzel, you know, Flotsam. I don't know. I don't actually know. Could go either way there. Alright, so now we're going to switch these guys out. We'll put the fake poser Excadrill that's not really part of our Nuzlocke in the dead box already. Uh, I guess this actually would be pretty decent. Um, and we'll put the Floatzel here, uh, just in case we ever get the opportunity to use it. We will do a little switch over there. And we'll throw you in the dead box where you're not allowed to be used. I still can't believe that two different fossils were uh, Cranidosis. Like, the fact that two different fossils, that neither of which were Cranidos' original fossil, were both a the same fossil Pokemon, is just, come on. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous. So, no super good luck there. Never got a Legendary out of a fossil or anything, which we always could have. But, you know, we did get a Gyarados, which was pretty solid, except that he died immediately because I was irresponsible. Actually, no. That one wasn't my fault. I refused to take responsibility for that one. That was unlucky crits. I think we played well on that, that death. I still won't let myself feel guilty for it. Um, even though I will always try to, apparently. Alright, head on back. Luckily, we hadn't made too, too much progress towards, uh, the Elite Four here. And I think we can catch up pretty quickly with where we were, having battled everybody along the way already. Alright, we will pop on our bike this time to save ourselves some time. Right, it is weird that there's, like, three different cities you don't even get to that are, like, so... Such a part of the main map. Um, until after you beat the Elite Four. Kind of, kind of weird. All right, already battled all you guys. Already battled you. Already battled you. No hidden items. No, nothing. All right. Well, I think we get an encounter in here, like in the gates here. I don't know if it's considered a new location. Hello. Yes. Thank you. But like, 
what route? Like, are we still considered to be on the previous route? Because this feels like such a new location. I'm going to go ahead and say we get an encounter in here. Like, this feels so different. We'll, we'll get an encounter. If we look at it and it says that it's clearly, you know, some other, like, the same route, then, you know, we, we'll, we'll reevaluate. But, like, oh, well, we're already in grass. Dang. Like, come on. There's grass in here. This place looks so different. It didn't pop up a new route name. I'm so torn. I'm so torn. Can I tell where we are? Where's our like our town map? We definitely get one on the other side here because it's going to be the um, Victory Road itself. We're still considered to be on Route 10, a road leading to the bag check badge check gates. Chock full of shell. This feels like it should be a different thing. This feels like it should be the badge check gates. Oh, I don't know. All right. What I'm going to do, I'm going to catch us an encounter here, an encounter here. And then uh, if you have opinions about whether or not we should use it, I'm going to say by default we can't use it. But let me know in the comments if you think we should. Then we'll reevaluate. We'll reevaluate and see what you think. That's hilarious that it's a floatzel. Um, we'll be catching ourselves the Typhlosion. Um, we actually finally get a pretty decent selection in our double battle here, which is only taken forever. Um, so we're gonna switch out Glalie, because I'm worried about her. Um, we don't have a great one to go into here, honestly. Um, those Defiance, you know. We'll go into Auto. Um, we're gonna be trying to take out the Floatzel, so hopefully we don't have to worry about the fact that it's a water type for very long. Um, we don't have a great switch in, because like, between water and fire, it's probably weak to something. Hansgro is pretty neutral, but... It's also Honchkrow, whose defenses are not great, so if I got doubled into, I'd be worried about him going down. Um, Swift is totally fine. Okay, that is a totally, totally fine thing for you guys to do. So we're going to say, by default, we cannot use this Typhlosion. I, it's technically the same route, and so by our rules, you know, we shouldn't use it. Uh, but if you think this is a, a new area enough that we could, let me know what you think. Um, I'm going to say we can't. That's my opinion on it, but uh, I'm torn enough that uh, I, I would like some uh, some second opinions, say it like that. Uh, let's heavy slam this guy and uh, use a potion so I don't hit you twice, because I don't really want to hit you twice right now. So we're just going to top off that little bit of healing on uh, on Manus there. I'm sorry, we have Manus, not Mance. Okay, so that's fine. They're, they're distinct enough names, not Mance and Nance. Mance was a name I was considering for... Uh, our boy uh, when he was a Dino, so that, that's why I think I thought that one. Um, we'll go for another Heavy Slam. I think he'll even live a crit, uh, and we'll just heal up again, because why not? Need to do something with that turn, and uh, I don't want to switch, because mana is resistant to everything here, so. Flame Wheel, totally fine. We can eat that up no matter who you hit with it. Alright, this should hopefully put him in good catching range. We could probably hit him again, but I don't think I want to risk it. You know, if we fail this catch, I mean, hey, that seems, you know, like uh, the game's telling us something. So, technically Route 10, but, like, really feels like it should be a new area, and it's pretty disappointing that it's not. To the point that I'm going to catch it, throw it in the box, and let you know. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. But we probably don't need it. I wouldn't really want to replace anything on our squad currently anyway. Um, but, you know, we'll go ahead and give him a nickname just in case. What's his name going to be? Let's start with an F. We haven't had any start with an F yet. You're going to be... Fabian. Alright, Fabian. You're going to stay there in the PC and probably never come out. Uh, one, don't think we need it. Two, uh, don't think we're technically allowed, allowed to use it, so... Uh, that is just disappointing. It feels like it should be a different area, and, like, in a newer Pokemon game, 100%, it would have its own distinct name. Um, this does not feel like Route 10 at all. Uh, you know, this is clearly the badge gates, which are, you know, supposed to be their own thing. But that's okay. That's okay. Um, we don't need it. Our team is doing fine. You know, if we do need it, then we're in a bad spot. What are you doing here? Are you, are you just chilling here? He's just chilling here, I guess. Did he have the other badges that wanted to just come and look at the badge that's to come that he'll eventually go through? Seems a little weird, but that's fine. Oh, we should... Oh, we didn't have the dowsing machine on for some of that. Yeah, we gotta go back. Don't think there are any...
any hidden items, but there could be. And you know, I'd be a bit sad if there, if there were and we didn't get them. Uh, I'm pretty sure we had it on up through this area. Right? Okay. Yeah, we're fine. There's not any hidden items in here. We're good. We're good to go. Some funky music at this area, too. All right. Let me through, sir. So this is our sixth badge here. Two more to go. I assume a bridge is going to come out of somewhere here. I would certainly hope so, at least. Next is the ice badge. Oh, this is this is, this is the uh, the air or the the flying type. So that that's why it was all windy. I was like, what? Why is it uh why is it not all frosty? This looks better. This is a little frosty. That's right, because you go into the thing and then it's that's uh, that theming of room. Uh can't go anywhere else. Okay, cool. Well, makes it easy enough. That was they could have made that puzzle a little trickier. Come on, I come on. Don't don't baby me. All right, on to the dragon one. What is this one? It's like all craggly, just all craggly. Not very exciting. All right, we'll get Victory Road. That'll be a definite real encounter for us. Um, one that, woo, we can get eaten. Chomp. Thumbnail right there. Boom. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably do that one. All right, this is the fun little one. All right, kind of a weird area. Super long, way longer than it needs to be. And uh, do we get an encounter inside or outside? Guess we'll see when it happens. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's probably going to be inside, because we're going to be in here first. This is getting Master Ball. Oh, you know when the music kicks up. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. All right. Question is, do we try anything else? Or do we just throw a Master Ball in? This is probably our last opportunity for encounter in the game, other than the actual, like, legendary Pokemon. There's no way it gets to run away, right? Like, at least try a quick ball. It's not gonna work. It could have superpower. Or revenge. I bet it has revenge, actually. If you don't hit it, revenge isn't really gonna matter. Oh, so we gotta throw a quick ball. Just see if you get lucky, you know? I can't just, like, in good conscience, throw out a master ball right away, you know? Try the quick ball. When it doesn't work... Wait, I, don't know. <laughs> I got my hopes up just a little bit there. Um... Alright, that's totally fine. Now let's throw a Master Ball at this thing. No need to mess around. Get ourselves a sweet encounter, finally. Probably the last encounter uh, of the game we're gonna get. Definitely makes me feel better about that Typhlosion not actually counting and getting that extra jaw out of the fossil, so... There were a lot of what could have been in uh, this episode so far, but finally got ourselves a pretty sweet encounter, and uh, that's one that could join the squad if uh, we lose somebody here along the road. A little bit low level. Insanely weak to an Ice-type move, but Ground Flying is pretty solid aside from that uh, Ice-type weakness. Alright, this guy's got it. He's, he needs a, a good name. He really does, like... Oh, he's got to have a, a potent name. I'm feeling like we got to go something like Greek Godish. Hmm. Okay, alright, yeah. He, he can be an Apollo. You know, it has nothing to do with the sun, but has some stuff to do with, like... Weather, which doesn't really have anything to do with the sun that directly either. But Apollo is just a, a, a pretty beefy name, you know? I, I like it, I like it. Could I just not think of any other Greek gods at the moment? And that's why I picked Apollo. Okay, look, shush, you don't need to be so sarcastic. All right, maybe it's just the one that came to mind. I thought of Zeus. I think Zeus would have been pretty fitting. But we already had Zeusy, and I don't want to, you know, have something be that similar. When I, I already thought we had Mance and uh, Nancy. Oh, sorry, um, yeah, Mance and Nance. We have Manus and Nance, which is not that similar. Not that similar at all. All right, Man Florentino. All right, a Swoobat. All right, uh, we are level 50s now. Okay, it has happened. Uh, I figured it was going to come soon. Didn't think it was going to come quite yet. Um, don't have a great move here. I think Iron Head will be fine. Uh, that's going to hurt a little bit, but Defiant can take it. I think we should have this in two Iron Heads. Oh yeah, we got two iron heads. No problem. Endeavor, that's annoying, but overall not that big a deal. Uh, yeah. Uh, so hopefully we don't need to go and grab ourselves uh, Apollo from the box. Who would we even replace if we did? For ground flying? <sighs> that's a hard choice. I don't know. Oops, I meant to switch. I meant to switch there, uh, but I pushed the wrong button and said no. Uh, that's fine. This thing's not going to be able to damage us really at all. Who would we replace if we did replace somebody? We've already got a ground type in auto, but like, auto's doing absolutely fine work for us. It'd probably be Defiant if I had to pick someone. Um, I, I, nothing against Defiant, though. Forgot that we had that future side attack coming in. Luckily, it turned out okay. Uh, I'm just gonna hit this thing. I don't 
see it being able to do too much to us. Embargo, okay. Can't use any items now. That's uh, annoying if we're not fine, but I think we should be fine. Um, what would be the worst thing you could do to me? Probably swagger, have me hurt myself in my confusion, and then do something else that's annoying? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, crit even. Wow, all right. So yeah, this should be some good experience for us. We are now at the point where we aren't going to encounter any uh, not fully evolved Pokemon. Uh, so that's going to be dangerous for us. All these things in here are going to be threats. Uh, especially if they have multiple Pokemon. Like, this is, uh... It's not messing around. Uh, let's just put it that way. We're, we're by no means uh, through the, with the gauntlet yet. Uh, Victory Road will certainly be a, a challenge for us here. Uh, I'm super glad we got a sweet Pokemon for our encounters, finally. Um, you know, it's been a while since we had anything that was even remotely exciting here. Yep, I, I know how it works. Yep, you got it. I can slide down. I was going to figure that out eventually. I mean, there's literally nowhere else to go. I that's a long way down! I can't do it! It's late at night because I'm recording this late, and uh, I apologize to my neighbors. They probably heard that one. All right, Drift Blimp. That's another one that we can probably take out here without too many problems. Not one I would have been too upset about us getting for an encounter either, but I mean, hey, come on. A Landorus is, like, super sweet. Uh, we're probably not going to be able to run, but I will try. <sighs> run? All right, there we go. We're going to throw on repels here. Uh, wild Pokemon don't give us that much experience. In general, it's going to drain a lot of our resources getting through it and just make this take a very long time. If we come out the other side and our squad's still pretty low level, we might have to go back and do some fighting, but we'll see. I don't think we want to go in there yet. We do. I mean, yeah, this is the right entrance, obviously. It's the only entrance, so clearly that's where we need to go. Uh, you'd have to be dumb to think you didn't need to go in there. <laughs> Am I right, guys? <laughs> Am I right? Uh, yeah, I don't remember much about Victory Road. I remember how it works like you go up you slide back down you try to find the right place and then slide down to a different door but as far as like which ones you need to go into in which order i have no idea uh i'm gonna get lost you know, i got lost in the dragon type gym uh which should have been pretty straightforward i think i still maintain that it was probably really straightforward and i goofed it up uh i think the one doubling back threw me off a little bit Whoop. right there huh burn drive okay it could be worse um, so do we want to keep going up or do we want to go out? Let's go poke our heads out, make sure there's not an item out here. There's not an item out here, and we don't want to go down. Yeah, there's no reason to go down there. We've already walked past that area, I'm pretty sure. There might be a reason to go down. I don't know. We're not going to go down yet. Um, I think, you know, in general we need to go up, so I think going up is generally going to be a good choice. Uh, we'll battle everyone in here for sure, because uh, if the trainers in here are level 50s, it means the Elite Four is going to be even higher. And we can't get out to go heal once we uh, make it our way into the Elite Four there. So far we haven't had a problem with uh, running out of moves or anything, but could still be a little dicey here. This is where I want a Rock-type move! Ugh, Defiant could be so good if he just got himself a Rock-type move, dude. That's all he needs. Steamroller, okay. Uh, that could hurt. What type of move is Steamroller? Figured it was steel. All right, I thought, I thought that was ground. So I was thinking of bulldoze. A steamroller, not bulldozer. I have no idea. It's doing like no damage, but I, I, it's not a move you see much. So I'm actually not sure what type of move it is. That is the first move we've seen all game that I'm just, I just don't know anything about. I recognize the animation. I, I remember that. Like it, it's weird and like has like a big spiky steamroller and like steamrollers usually aren't spiky, but maybe there are spiky var variations. I don't know. Maybe they're for like irrigating things, you know, like the little things that poke up the weird little turd-looking things in your yards that you see in the summers, at least in Georgia you did. Maybe that's only a southern thing, I have no idea. Um, but when you, at the British that was for irrigating yard or aerating, maybe it was aerating. That'd make sense, wouldn't it? Um, get Axel out here, should be able to take down this uh, Meryl Whack without too much difficulty. Uh, yeah, I don't know if there's a spiky steamroller. It seems like it'd be very difficult to drive. Um, especially because I don't think the, the, the wheel lifts up or anything. Like, usually I have to just drive it around. It's like, how could you get that thing around on concrete if it's like... How do you drive it down the asphalt? I have no idea. I don't know. I, I'm talking about things I have no idea about. Clearly, as you probably tell. Oh, that did a lot. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Go for an ice beam again because it is more accurate. Don't want that 5% chance that we miss uh, and get thrashed. Uh, that was spooky because, like, they're doing half or over half of our HP in single hits. Which makes sense. I'm like, that's still taking the hits okay. But it does make us that any crit, just a crit out of nowhere can just take any one of our boys from us at any given time, which scares me. So we're going to top everyone off here. It is just our boys. Dang, we got four dudes and uh, two agenders. 
All right. I suppose that if we got Lander, so we just make it a 50-50 split, most likely between non-identifying. Uh, okay, we don't want to go over there, clearly. Uh, this is the guy that was too scared, right? Does he want to battle us? Okay, no, he doesn't. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to prompt you again, though. I do like your dialogue and how it pops up so aggressively. Um, yeah, I don't know what the right strategy here is, really, so we're just going to explore. Uh, I don't mind getting all the items in here. Um, you're probably supposed to get a pretty good TM or two. Maybe you're supposed to get, like, Earthquake out here. It's not going to be Earthquake, unfortunately, just because that's the nature of a randomizer. Uh, but get still be something good. And this is the first lady who has something that's not level 50. Whoop, that is our timer. All right, well, uh, definitely going to need another episode to finish this up. Uh, we'll iron head this thing. Uh, you're slower than us. Okay, that seems fair. We're now mummied, which means we don't have sturdy anymore, which is scary. But speaking of scary, so is that face. Uh, that's fine. We can keep iron heading this thing. We're not going to get the flinch anymore, the flinch chance anymore. Hopefully this doesn't, like, crit and take me out because I don't have sturdy. All right, that's right. We resist ghost type because we're in the generation where steel's busted still. Um... This is going to take us a while. I'm going to have to heal a few times. Let's just go into Ricardo. Ricardo can foul play this thing, call it a day. That's if we knock you out, we just lose all of our PP for the move, right? So we'll go for a fly then? To hopefully get rid of that? Because I don't want to run out of all of my dark type attacks here. That'd be kind of annoying. And now hopefully knock you out. We will get mummied. You survived! That's annoying! Alright, that's fine. Scared face. That's fine, that's fine. Um, we might get grudged here, but I'm gonna use wing attack, so even if we do get grudged, I don't really care. Shadow Ball, that's fine. We resist that Shadow Ball, we'll eat it up. Eat it up, Honchkrow. It's a little less of an eating up than I expected it to be, so a little about a quarter of our HP, but that's not too bad. Uh, Honchkrow, a little bit of a glass cannon. Hits real hard and uh, doesn't take hits very well. Okay, Wall Rain. Uh, seems like a good one for uh, Karis to come in here and deal with. Does Karis have a lucky egg on him still? I feel like I should have left a lucky egg on this boy. I know I left one of our lucky eggs on Defiant. Because uh, he does take a while to level up, but so does uh, Karis. So I'd be pretty happy with the lucky egg on this guy too. Alright, we did over half. That's all I was hoping for is over half. Don't freeze me. All right, cool. I would have been a little bit upset. I've been like, why did I even say anything if it ends up freezing me? Like, there was no reason. All I've been doing is cursing us. All right, should be a good experience. It is boosted. Ooh, that's a lot of experience. Wow. All right, all right. So that is the good thing about only finding fully evolved Pokemon, um, is that we're going to guarantee. We don't have any. Uh, we have a, we have a better option here. Uh, we can let Axel take care of this thing. I guess Honchkrow would have been a good solution too, but that's okay. I feel like Honchkrow levels up pretty fast, so I'm not too worried about trying to feed him experience. All right, Yon Mega. You do get access to Ancient Power, which could hurt, but hopefully... Don't need to worry about it. Okay, U-Turn, that's fine. You're the last Pokemon on this team, so I'm not worried. That still did a lot. Hopefully we take this out in one Ice Beam, because I don't want to be around for another one of those. Sweet. We will not be around for another one of those. All righty, all righty. Okay, so yeah, uh, definitely one good thing about having fully evolved Pokemon is we do get a lot more experience. That is going to help us uh, keep our levels high as we go through here. Uh, we'll find this uh, item over here, see what it is, and then call it an episode. Whoop, nope, sorry. Oh, I panicked. I panicked. Full on panic there. It's embarrassing. What a bad look. Uh, and we'll throw Ricardo out front too before I forget uh, to get him even on levels there. I uh, don't think we really need to worry about switching the... Uh, the lucky eggs around every time. I think it'll be alright. I'm keeping on our two ones that uh, take quite a while to level up, and I think that's an okay place to be. Oh. Alright, well, that was a good timing on the repel wearing off, I suppose. We just wrapped up and found that last item there. Alright, well, that'll do it for this episode. Hopefully you're enjoying it. Let me know what you think about the Typhlosion. I don't think we should use it, you know, but figured I'd take it just in case. You know, it'd been a while since we'd had a decent encounter. I was kind of just hoping we could find something cool and maybe justify using it, but I think it's a bit a bit of a stretch. It is really disappointing that that's not considered a new area, but hey, what can you do? That's just how the game works. Luckily, we got a sweet encounter in Victory Road to make up for it, so I'm excited that we've got a, some pretty sweet power awaiting us in the PC. Hopefully, we don't need it. I don't know who it would replace. Um, 
Defiant does have a pretty good roll for us, so it's tough between having a Honcho and Auto already cover both of its types. Um, but, you know, if something happens, hopefully it won't, but if something happens to one of our teammates, we know we've got some uh, somebody sitting there ready to uh, come off the bench and do some good work for us. So that's a good feeling to have, knowing you got somebody who's got your back, you know? That's it for this episode, though. Hopefully you're enjoying it. If you are, hit the like button for me. Subscribe if you want to see some more of these in the future. Hit the bell icon to get notifications when a new episode comes out. And until the next episode, I hope you have a nice day.